My name is Adriana Bordillo Barto and I am from Guatemala. Because those were the years of the massacres and the disappearances and you know, the torture bodies found on the edge of the road and these horrible things every day. Not a day went by without bodies being found. Men, women, children. We were afraid that we were gonna be the next ones. As soon as we got off the bus, like from two blocks away, we started seeing uh, the military. And when we got to the house where my father lived, immediately we were surrounded by our men. And they had their guns pointing at our backs and our heads. Th there were uh, like four or five men inside. Um, who were washing the floors. They were washing the floors of the garage. And I was interrogated by them. And at one point I felt that my spirit left my body. And I felt like my body had just collapsed. It was just like a bomb had hit me. And I thought, oh my God, they killed my father and, and the rest of uh, uh, my relatives. And then I told uh, my sister-in-law, let's run. And we grabbed the children and started running and we could hear the men coming. But I do remember the, the terror, the terror. This is my daughter, Glenda, who was nine years old. This is my daughter, Chawita who was 10 years old when she was detained and disappeared. When I attend events, I carry them with me. My little sister, Almita, she was exactly this age when she was also detained and disappeared by security forces. You know, people think that time helps with everything and that the more time goes by, the better you feel, and that it helps to forget. But in cases of disappearances, that is not true. Uh, as time goes by, it's even worse. Worse because with time, you lose the hope that you are going to find them. God saved my, my life, literally. We had this group that supported each other. We got together to cry, to scream, you know, to let out everything. We're working for each other. I realized that I was learning to be an agent of change. And I have been an agent of change since then. What I want people to know about COVER is that there is this community of all kinds of uh, healers willing to accompany survivors uh, through the difficult process of learning to live.